Hey, thanks for coming. This is a welcome to grocery haul, and this is 2023. Um, thought I'm gonna be. I thought it'd be fun to make the uh, throwback grocery haul with you guys. And this morning, I have to show you something really, a uh, really interesting news. So this one, I was talking with my uh, therapy uh, therapist, and she said that I have this thing called ADHD. And it's something new and um, it's not good, it's not bad. I was like asking, is it good? Is it bad? <laughs> She's like, what do you think? Do you think, is it is it bad if I have it? And I was like, no. So my point is that it's new, definitely new to me. So I'm trying to process it and trying to move on, you know? I cannot do anything about it. I just have to make the best out of it, like every week that we do for grocery, you know? For yourself, for the family. So, um, so if you're new, now that I throw you with a big giant cardboard, if you're new, welcome. My name is Mira. We live in South Florida over here. And um, how much do you think I spend over here? Like, look, 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 look. Oh, I come back here. So anyway, so how much do you think? Go ahead and write it down, you know, on the comment. And if you're new, welcome. And uh, if you're coming back, say hello to me as well. Write it down, you know, how much you think. And... Uh, and what is the highest amount that you spend in grocery? Estimated, you don't have to remember all the grocery receipts, you know, I know that I have all of them. So before I start going on this video, I want to remind you a very important thing. On December 11, which is today, is the last day that you can do the drawing. Today is the last day you can do that until 11.59 p.m. in Eastern Standard Time in USA. You can do that. Uh, go ahead, I'll put the link over here about the year-end checklist. Go ahead and check it out, the uh, video. That is extremely useful for year-end, that you can prepare ahead for the next year, that you won't forget anything what you need to be doing for this year. And then, as you are there, over there, if you want to win $50, 50 US dollar, that will be three winners, will be announced on December 15th, please make sure that you comment, hashtag living well. I'll put it on the description for you so you can see it. And I say hello, feel free to say hello so that I can get and say hello back to you. And I hope that everybody win from this channel. I hope that I have all the money for you, everybody, because I, that's how much I want to say thank you. But at the same time, my love and my appreciations are more than money. So I hope that you understand it. And I hope that you can definitely go this journey with me on the debt-free journey, which is my mortgage that I'm paying off. Thank you so much. Are you a weekly shopper or are you a bi-weekly or are you a monthly grocery hauler? However you are, just say hello to me. I just want you to know how people are shopping these days, you know. 2023 grocery shopping is definitely different than 2020 grocery shopping that I did at the time in, you know, you know what time, right? So the whole world know that. So how much do you think? So I'm going to reveal it right now anyway. I don't want to torture you. So when you see that, it's going to be a lot of grocery hauls. Some of them are like grocery haul, grocery, grocery. Some of them are grocery and household goods. Some of them are household goods only. Or maybe they are mixed together. But this one is just mostly grocery, if you can see it. So I'm going to go through um, each of them for you. As you can see, this grocery haul does not have any meat, nor the uh, protein. Too much of it. I mean, eggs is there. And uh, no, no, no household goods or no books and no refilling or nothing just pretty much all the grocery right some something you consume in your body so that's why it is it is 33 years dollar in us dollar so you see how did you get that 33 dollar i'll tell you all the secret about it in right now so if you're new or if you are returning my fellow friends healthy wealthy moguls go ahead and don't forget to subscribe and like and so that way you two are called and know that you guys like me and so I can make more and more great videos for you. So you see, this is like oranges, right? This is, I shop grocery at Aldi, mostly, mostly, uh, 99%. All of them are, everything I'm about to show you is from Aldi. Oranges, and make sure that you check the, I always tell my friends that, always check they are all good, not brown or not yucky or soggy. There's an apple that I think you already see in it. So um, usually apples like maybe, 10 or you know usually 10 of them so my I, we bought two this week started this week we're buying more apples because my husband likes to eat more fruit during the lunch time to make sure that i have enough fruits for him and uh this one is uh spinach that we got from aldi this is cucumber 
and milk that you can see it is on the December 19th and there are grapes that my son I like it green grape there are two eggs uh, right there we ate two already I made it this morning I ate it two for my breakfast um, and then there's a tomato I think these 10 items are from Aldi only this week that cost $33 I know it's expensive isn't it so we went to visit our friends in Fort Myer friends friends house so um, She's super nice, and I'll show you her garden in a different video. So um, this one is, uh, if you're familiar with this, it's a lot of tropical fruits. This is pomelo. So it's more like a grapefruit, but it's like, mm. it's super good. This is a Maya lemon. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I have it. And this is all free. This is green papaya. Do you know that there's a green papaya and there's a yellow papaya? So, I know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna make salad out of it. Maybe I might cook with some chicken, so I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to test it out. And um, this is my son favorite. Do you see a little bit moist because of in the refrigerator, I just took it out a few minutes ago. This is star fruit. It's super, super good. And um, you see like they come up from the tree, so I've been biting it. Mm -hmm. It's a little bruises. It's nothing wrong with it. And then this one looks a little bit scary. It's a lot of things. Ooh. Ooh. So this one you need to peel the outside and then you eat it inside. You can eat you can eat with you can eat with pork. You can cook with pork, or you can also slice it into it, put a little bit of soy sauce, and put a little bit of, put a little bit of soy sauce like this, and then uh, put, a, if you want, a little bit of chili pepper. Uh, it tastes really good. It's like a kind of like Asian salad thing, cold salad. She also gave this stuff. This is called Rohingya leaves. She dried them. She has a dry machine, which I don't, maybe I'll buy, invest the money to get dry machine in the future. It's to make a tea. It is super, super great. So I have like one, two, I have three of them. And this one is uh, mint and some beans in it. So I got it from that. And this one is uh, some leaf that she gave it to us. It's really good to drink tea. It's so smells so good. So, and then we also went to another event like Burmese temple events. It's um, in this month, there's a temple event. So we went there, we were invited. So we went there and uh, we ate a lot of stuff over there. So they have a, there's some oranges that we brought over here and uh, also some of the crunching beans. So which is a Burmese food. Oh my God, I love this. And I know this is kind of, you think the to-go box, no. This is all the pepper. I know, I'm a pepper person. I love spicy stuff. So that's there. Um, so these are the all stuff. I'll tell you about the other one later. So because of we are getting all of this, we are going to use the uh, refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. All the things that we can use, supply with all of those, you know? So I can make a meal out of a salad. I can make with the chicken or pork or anything. I can make, make a meal out of it. And all the fruits, these fruits are gonna last for another, um, this week and next week for my son, like, because he loves specialty fruit. So we're gonna have all this, this some of them, I'm gonna freeze them. So remember, you can always freeze everything. So I wanna freeze them. So it will last for us for another um, another two weeks. And it could, I can even stretch it out a little bit. You know, I'm not going to do that like every day with this, you know, last longer. You know, you can stretch a little bit longer for the happiness. Now let's dive into the first throwback video. Hey, how are you? <laughs> hey, um, so welcome. Um, I'm just thinking about my son, so it made me chuckle. Um, he gave me this one, so to wear on my hand. Um, so I'm just wearing it on my hand right now. So, but I did take put the, this one on my hand. I want to take a picture though. You see on the thumbnail. Hey, um, so um, I want to tell you something funny I thought my son said today. He said, the more you cook, the happier you are. Something like that. I thought that's genius, don't you think? Car drive by. 
hey happy weekend and a happy day to you whatever day you're watching it so uh you always see me i have a pen notebook over here you're thinking what you're doing so that is why i'm here today so um i'm going to tell you today all the great things about a little bit of fashion and a little bit of household uh, supply that you buy so i make a video about uh grocery store um go and check it out i like that one um you know i, I can do different things next time for you uh this one is so I don't want to just focus on grocery shopping because I know there's a big budget that you have to spend every month. But how about other things that we spend every other month or every month or every day? I don't know. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Toilet paper. Hello, vinegar. Uh, I know I bought three of them today. I'm, I'll tell you more about it. Uh, how about pet food? You know, how about, um, I don't know, cleaning soap, whatever. So that is why I'm here today. I'll tell you more about it. Um, I want to teach you about all the little things that you can save for your better living life, you know, so you can make it something huge, um, fun as somewhere, either on vacations or either retirement, either your college saving or either for your grandson or granddaughter or niece or nephew, whatever you're trying to do. All right, ready? Okay. I also have a something surprise that you're going to love it. Um, I'll tell you a little bit later that um is like a mind-blowing a little bit of ch cheating way i think but it's legal so <laughs> all right i do everything legal okay nothing illegal nothing unethical i don't do those things all right so i'm going to show you these little things that what i bought and i'll show you my eight different tips that i'm gonna uh put you into the right spot that you can always love it let's see that okay this is what i'm buying today um so i'll tell you why i buy um everything but right now i just want to show you the product so this is a jacket for my son it's this big i bought it a little bit over one size bigger than what he need to so it's a budget reason there's a this piece this piece this piece this piece this piece all five piece over there um for twenty dollar Mm, yes, that is is uh, fifteen fourteen dollar, and these threes are three dollar each. I'll tell you, I might thinking return it, but I might thinking return it like one, but I don't know yet. I I think about. I'll tell you more. This one is apple cider vinegar, a vitamins, Costco brand, um, Costco brand. They are on sales, uh, two dollar and fifty cents each. If your Costco do it, go ahead and buy it. If you use the vitamins, um, so it costs. This is about um, one is seven dollar and one is nine dollar. I think this is nine dollar and this is seven dollar, something like that. This one is for my son. He like to is upside down. Remember, I clean all single everything, so they're all clean. That's why I'm touching it. And um, so he like to do this once a week with. Uh, with us cleaning this is is cleaning I bought okay this one lasts us about four months and this one will last about forever <laughs> um, this one I buy this for cleaning and cleaning that's why they are in the household supply category is my dog is right here he's sleeping relaxing that's why you're hearing the noises um, this is clothing for my son. Now, I'll tell you more now. Okay, so the reason I buy these three, it seems a lot, is um, 1.32 gallons for container is $3.29. Um, the reason I buy this is, is, is I'm gonna make it like homemade um, cleaning supply. I do it so that it save money and much more healthier and more safer for a child and my puppy at home, you know. So I don't buy cleaning supply every month, not every other month either. I buy this. Uh, the last time I buy is in uh, March. So we haven't been by for like four months already. So this is like a, at least more than four months supply, you know? So, and then when I use the apple cider vinegar to as a cleaning supply, cleaning the fruit, I'll list the, um, the recipe down there so you can see it. Um, the vitamins we need it for, um, if you're hearing and my puppy's snoring, just 
pardon me, he need to sleep. Uh, he like to sleep in on the weekend. Um, so I also buy the uh, clothing for my son because I usually buy the uh, thrift show store uh, clothing. Um, but because of this outside, I am buying the brand new clothing. Um, he has the allowance. Uh, I will tell you more about my budgeting video. You go and check it out my 11,000 uh, saving every year. Uh, I'll link the video down there. Uh, so the reason I do it, I do give him a $20 per month for my son for anything he need. Either it could be toys or it could be clothing or shoes or whatever he need, you know, because he's growing. Um, so with that said, so they are on the budget. I'll share my other budgeting video that how many um, account you should have to increase your uh, saving and uh, motivating and you know, all the stuff that you should definitely check it out because that is really saved my life and my finance, uh, our family. So um, that is the reason why I buy it. And then, you know, I saw, I showed the, um, the cleaning laundry detergent. It lasts about four months. The last one we bought is around February, I think. So now it's like, you know, July. So it's like, you know, you've made, you do the math five months, you know. It stayed there so I think I should last it for August so it's about four or five months at least about six months four or five months I think so I want to tell you about more about the tips are you ready okay number one I have my notebook so I'm gonna have to look at it for a second um, so number one is uh, put the dollar amount and what you need before you go and shop so I think I talked to you about in grocery shopping you know so when you do that's really important so how much you are buying it you have to put like how much is it you kind of want to know at least in general you know when you at the grocery store it might change a few cents or whatever or if you're buying online then you can come you can see it you know uh, number two is uh just ask yourself why you really need it do you actually need it to me is I buy it so I don't have to go and buy it again and uh, do I can I buy this only one forget about these two I can but I feel like this is better so I don't have to do it again for another six months, you know, no worry about it. And I have a household budget um, for this, this like this, like, you know, we do anything that we don't eat and like toilet paper, tissue paper, we don't use a paper towel anymore. We use a uh, cloth towel, uh, which I talk about in 11,000 saving money video. So these three is going to make me stress release on another six months you know just sit there and use it i'll make it you know create my own supply and number three is like you know adjust if you need to so let's say what i'm trying to say is let's say you you say you need it number two for sure number three you already know your price you know number three is well do you actually need it maybe adjust it you know twist it whatever you need to maybe don't buy it now or return it. Maybe I might return it these two if I if I'm in money tight situation. But right now I need I can keep it here. You know it's kind of investment. It's not growing money, but you know kind of I don't have to go back again Costco for this part. Uh, I only go grocery shopping once a month. I do this uh, maybe every three four months. You know so that's like that. So number four is um, compare the places. So. Are you going to shopping at Walmart? Are you going to shopping at Costco? Are you going to shopping at Aldi? You know, apparently Aldi might not sell it this size. Um, but Walmart, I don't usually go there. So I don't really go there because I don't need anything from there because Walmart kind of overwhelmed me because there are a lot of things there and I made me choose so many things. So that's why I choose Costco and Aldi um, in my shopping. Number four, uh, number five is um, stay within your budget based on what you need, not what you want. So very mindful about one and these are totally two different things, you know. Believe me, when I went to Costco shopping, I was tempted so many things like, oh my God, there's a salsa, I might want to buy it. I don't usually buy salsa though, so I said, oh, never mind, I shouldn't buy it. Oh, there are fruits, maybe should I buy it? My grocery shopping time is not there yet, I shouldn't go and buy it. I only go there because of my vitamin really need it, now cleaning supply, I need it, that's why I need to be going there. Um, so, Think, make sure you, you be very clear about we want and needs. Number six is the earn points and get whatever you can get. So that's what I want to tell you about it. So look at it, um, you know. If you are shopping at the Rakuten online, use Rakuten or Honey. If you are shopping at the store and then make sure you scan them and get the 
either discounts or sales or whatever you need it and before you shop you know you need to know those things first it actually saves lots and lots of money believe me trust me try it you're gonna love it and number seven is kind of like they are kind of intertwined together it's like look at me i know i'm gonna tell you one two okay all right I, my point is that <laughs> i don't know how to do this one, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. I know, please don't be mad at me. Please listen for a second. So I use that, um, this uh, app called Fashion Wars. Uh, you know, um, I love it because you can scan any, any receipt, right? Anything, anything, you can name it. So I realized that each time you scan, <laughs> you got 20 point points so i kind of asked nicely to the people at costco can you please scan this 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 so this got a five receipt for me so i got 25 actually 125 points oh, i'm so sorry but i kind of did that uh, i don't do it often but i kind of do that this time because i don't really buy a lot so i kind of need points i kind of recruit all the points for my son um you know special gift or whatever or maybe whatever we need or maybe me and my husband hanging out i don't know something um so with that said i know it's not illegal i think and also hey some people pick up the receipt from the street and they can scan it too not that i did it <laughs> so anyway i just want to share these kind of little tips with you i know these are fun uh number eight is this is a serious one. Make sure you recap your uh, your receipt, your re your receipt and your budget when you finish shopping. Make sure you do that every single time, like religiously. I am telling you, try that. You're gonna see the difference that how much you save every single time you do that. You might. I'm not saying you do that to hate yourself. Okay, don't 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 hate yourself, please. Um, not like me. Okay, don't do that. So that way you can see. Okay, did I spend this one? Why? You know. So. With that said, if you, before you log out from this uh, channel, I'll tell you something really funny. That my total is still within my budget. My household, so my household supply um, um, month is $50 per month. So my widow spend every month. So I save it every month whenever I don't spend it. Uh, I'll tell you all about digital uh, sinking uh, funds in next video. Go and check it out uh, coming up soon. And I also have a uh, kids how to teach uh, your kids m about money. It's a little bit tough love, so please have a little bit of strong rock at heart to listen to my suggestions. Some of them are a little bit. So I hope you understand that as a parent's and perspective and trying to save money to have a better life for your child. So there you go, you have it, enjoy. And if you haven't subscribed, put a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helped this channel and this community. Oh, I My goal is trying to help you have a bulletproof finance uh, bank. That's my point is. So I hope you got that and uh, enjoy and have a wonderful day. I'll see you in next weekend. Bye. Hey, welcome to my channel. This is Mira and thank you again for visiting to my channel. Today I'll be talking about three things. One is how to shop frugally, dependence on what your family needs or what you need. Some of your needs might be different than mine. So I might be buying a lot more fruit than you do. So it depends on what you need. Okay, so it could be dietary, it could be uh, diet. I, I don't know, it depends on what you need. So that is number one. To, uh, second thing, I'm gonna show you more detail about it. And number three is that I'm gonna talk a little bit about meal plan overview. And I'll be planning to make more meal plan video if you guys like it. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. If you already subscribed, go ahead and put a thumbs up and put a little comments for me if you have any question. All right, let's get started. Hey friends, before I get to it, I just want to explain to you guys, we are family of three plus my puppy, so we are family of four. Uh, me, my husband, and my son, who, who is four years old. So all the things that we bought, we only consume within that month. Some of them roll over to next month. It could be potato, it could be milk, it could be eggs, it roll over to next month. So uh, I explained to you, we don't have any dietary, any limited anything. I pretty much eat every food that available as long as they are safe and healthy. I don't eat too much of fat, uh, not because of any dietary, I just simply do not um, enjoy them, I guess. So we always eat healthy 
And this item that you see, uh, this one, the filter thing, is I need to go and get it from Costco because Costco price is much more cheaper than online store that I can purchase online. So that's why I went there and I bought a few fruits from there. Other than that, uh, I always shop on Aldi. The other one, ethnic store, I shop because my son likes some of the variety that they can offer and some of the vegetables they can offer last longer or much more um, much more healthier, I think, because you want to eat always healthy food in variety. You don't want to stick with one, two, three every day, you know, which is not super healthy for you. That is the reason why I went to three different grocery stores, stay within my budget $225 for the grocery and $50 for the um, household good. This is the month of August. I am thinking uh, next month, I might be doing something different, but I'll explain to you at the end of the video. Also, I want to let you guys know that we only consume food in, in at our house we don't go out and buy any food not even pizza not even hamburger we don't go out and be, uh, eat it the reason is two reasons one is we want to be healthy and number two is um uh, we want to stay within the budget it is not because of we don't like to support local family we love them we're trying to support indifferently which is could be for uh, helping donation to either church or local charity or it could be a, a pet places that we're trying to support them but we just simply want to stay within our budget for the uh, grocery and household uh, supply. So as you guys see, there are all the grocery over here. It is uh, about $199.20 or something like that. But I will list it up for you. Go, I'm gonna start with this size, which is um, uh, up to here. It is a, a ethnic store. This is called lychee. You gotta peel it out outside and eat the whites inside and the seed you have to throw away. This is a tropical fruit. Uh, I think it's available in Hawaii too, which is exactly great. That is awesome. Each bag is a little bit expensive. This is the most expensive item we buy. This is $5, two bags, because my son really love it. At, at the Costco, $6.99. At the ethnic store, $4.99. There are eight, man eight mangoes, uh, about $1 each. And this is three of them. Do you see three of them? Uh, for only one dollar um, This is all the uh, vegetable uh, It's called Ong Chai. It's um, I think one dollar and some one dollar and fifty seven cents This is ginger one dollar and I think twenty nine cents or something. This is um, so I'm gonna stop Oh, this is 129 pineapple from the uh, ethnic store at the um, Different store has more expensive. So I bought this one from there so this is carrot. I actually I bought it from um, ethnic store too. It's like ninety nine cents. Um, at the um, Aldi, much more expensive. And this is starting from now is uh, Aldi. Avocado, banana. We make banana cake. And what is it called? Grapes, potato, with uh, bell pepper. Two apples. One is there and one is here. Apple sauce. We bought meat, um, this is broth, potato chip, um, what else, bread, uh, we will eat it for two weeks. We have a level from, from last time, so we'll eat it four weeks. Tomato, you see the, what is it called, orange, um, there is a oh, tortilla, I bought two of them, so it should last us four weeks. Uh, this is cherry juice for my son. This is, I bought Nam, uh, it's called flatbread, two of them, so, so imagine this is, we eat it, one for dinner, one is for lunch. And there's a juice, my son already drank a couple of those, because he really like it. I already washed every of those and cleaned them with wipes, so they're all clean, that's why I'm touching it. Um, he really loved this. And what else? Oh, oranges, I got it from... I don't know where I got it from. I got it from Aldi. No, I got it from Costco, sorry. And this one is the, uh, um, we make it dessert at home or my, my husband eat it. Oh, I forgot. This is tilapia. Uh, this is a chocolate, uh, like this. It's $1.99. And what else I got? Oh, I bought yeast um, for baking at our house. So I already show you, right, meat, meat. This is a broth work. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do um, one and a half meal, you know. This one is, I think it was like a one, two, three, four, five, six. So we, we'll make it like a three dinner. 
and the eggs I buy uh, four of those I think yes four of those uh, it will last us four weeks because we eat once per week you know this one I you buy it and I scan this and I use Ibotta app it gave me one dollar back it's for our whole hair, air filter and then what else I got oh I also got care from Aldi it's uh, 99 cents this is salary I think I don't remember it's one dollar or something and milk since you already see my son already drink it uh, we buy um, for two two so we also my son only only my son drink this and we bake it use it for baking uh, I think I show you everything right if I forgot anything I'll let you know oh this one I buy this this is a beef ground beef I bought it I think it's a $20 um, with frozen because I already cleaned them and freeze them um, it's $20 for seven pounds and then I make it into seven different bags so it will be seven different uh, dinner plus lunch you know so it's like a 14 meals multiply with three person so you got the math so there you go okay I forgot to tell you I also bought this one it stay within budget okay this is, is rice I bought the jasmine rice because it's really the best it's $25 without the discounts um, this one is a uh, instant noodle shrimp creamy tom yum flavor this is $16.99 for I don't know they didn't write it down though 30 bucks inside okay they didn't write it down I don't know it's $30 uh, 30 um 30 pieces inside um, if you want to see, I can show you once again. It's open. It's hard to open, man. Look. So, you see it? Three multiplied. Ten multiplied with three. So, there are 30 of them. Um, for, so, we're going to be pretty much eating. So, we will have a day for ramen. So, I'll tell you more about it. So, I just want to explain to you. So, you see, I don't buy this every month. So frugal living uh, for the grocery shopping is number one, you need to have a grocery list. And number two uh, is that you need to have a category for what you're shopping. So for example, um, for me it's protein and carb. The carb is a ramen noodle and you know rice or maybe um, tortilla, um, wrap, and also what is it called, nam that I bought. So this is for, you know, some of them will last me two months, some of them will last me three months, some of them last me for over a month. So it depends on what is it. Next month I might not, I'm not buying rice, I'm not buying ramen noodle. I might or may not buy tortilla. It depends on what is it because I'm gonna freeze them. So that is a category. So for me, it's for protein and carb. I will have a maybe 50% budget, you know, or maybe 35% budget. I'm just explaining to you for example. Um, and then you will have to have like a, any miscellaneous, anything. It could be spice, it could be chip that you want to have a snack on, or maybe it could be fruits, uh, not fruit. It could be the uh, juice that your kids might want. So those are like miscellaneous, you know, they are not the same every time they might be different you know and then the other category is fruits and vegetables because we eat lots of fruits not necessarily me because <laughs> my husband and my son they're crazy about it so anyway um and also my kids like you know some of the juice that i show you uh and fruits a vegetable is i love vegetables i am a vegetable eater um but i'm not vegetarian i used to be a fruitarian and i used to be vegetarian for a few months and years in my life, you know, when I was a uh, teenager to um, uh, over, you know, early 20, you know. So, but I'm not doing it anymore because uh, there are a lot of things going on. So I want to focus on, don't focus on that thing anymore. Just focus on other things. So I'm going to explain to you more about it. So I also want to let you know this price, the filter price is L filter. It is $39.99 at Costco. But when I was Googling it, it was about some of the store they have. Uh, $59.99 and stuff so it's just 10 $15 savings so I have to go to Costco even though I didn't really want to go um, because I want to go that I want to make a less trip to different places you know so anyway um so get back to the um, meal plan I want to explain to you about the meal plan so at the beginning of the uh, you know this one video I was talking to you I'll tell you something different so every month I go to once a month shopping but this month is okay but next month I might do every other week like twice a month uh, go to Costco one time or maybe go to Aldi one time or Aldi and uh, you know ethnic store one time so it depends on what it is so I want to make it two trips because when you see a lot of things it's really take time to clean it um, I am a kind of um, jamophobic maybe so I have spent time to clean it on Saturday and it's really like 
really exhausting. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do uh, twice a month, then I will have to less buy and faster cleaning. Then maybe I can spend time with, on the Saturday with my son because every Monday through Friday I'm walking, um, it's just kind of exhausting. <laughs> So uh, I just want to spend time, more time with uh, my son on the weekend. So that's why I'm thinking of doing it. I will let you know if I change my mind or if it, that plan is better then. And maybe I will do uh, save the video footage and I'll make it two video in one thing so you guys can see it once a month video you know, for grocery shopping. So this is about meal planning for those who have been struggling about how to cook, when to cook and what to cook. And it's so much, uh, it sounds really easy. Oh, you're just cooking dinner, right? But it actually is not. If you have a big, huge family member, you definitely need to have a meal plan. Even though we have three humans in this household and one puppy, I definitely need to have a meal plan because I used to be a struggler, but for now I haven't been, I've been doing really better. The reason is I know how to plan it and I know what I'm cooking uh, ways ahead of a day, you know? So I'm gonna tell you my secret. Are you ready? All right, Monday, I always cook pork. Any types of pork I have. It could be anything. I'm just going, it could be pork sausage, it could be ground pork, it could be uh, pork belly, it could be any kind of pork. I'll cook something. It can be we eating with rice that you see. It could be uh, we could eat it with just, you know, um, some sort of noodles. It could be we're eating with bread. It could be we're eating with nam, anything. So number Tuesday, it, we could be eating fish, any types of fish. Tilapia, it could be uh, canned fish, it could be uh, fresh salmon. We only eat fresh salmon once a month. But the rest, we eat tilapia, canned fish. It, it with assortment of vegetables, you know, as you see, any vegetable you see. And one day is we eat the uh, vegetarian, or it could be, if we, if we have any seafood, it could be veg, uh, it could be anything, one day. Vegetable, seafood, or it could be t uh, tortilla that you see. Those are one day. Thursday is leftover. So Monday, we have pork, right? Tuesday, we have fish, right? One day, it will be vegetarian, anything. So Thursday is leftover day, anything, whenever we cook, we just save teeny tiny, like which is one meal, like one person. So on the Friday, on the Wednesday night, we just eat, each person will eat something. It's like a buffet day. Friday is a ramen noodle day. It is like, because, you know, at the end of the week, we, me, me and my husband work, work full time, you know, my husband has have his own business. So we are always busy, you know, have a child, has a dog. It's just like run, 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 like everybody else. I couldn't imagine if you have a family of eight or 10, you know? So the ramen noodle is uh, Friday. We'll eat a ramen noodle, buy the ramen noodle, and we either we buy the egg, or sometimes we just, without egg, we'll eat a, whatever leftover meat we have, or we have vegetable, we we'll just put it in, put a little bit of uh, green onions, and it's a beautiful, delicious meal today. I'll show you sometime. And uh, it doesn't have to be super costly. It has to be simple, delicious, and you can just make a meal on that night. Whenever we cook, we always save something for next day. And we always eat leftover on the lunch. We always have a lunch box. Even though we are walking from home, or if you're walking from home, if you're walking from outside, it doesn't matter. You need to have a lunch box. It will save you $7 or more than that. If you haven't watched my $11,000 saving per year, uh, go and check it out my video. I'll list it down up there or down there for you. And actually, I have been found more ways to save more than $11,000 a year. So uh, I will make more video about it. If you're interested in, let me know. And so um, that is Friday, and Saturday is we will cook anything we have. It doesn't have to be any meat. Whatever meat we have, we'll just make it happen. It could be tortilla with um, canned fish. It could be, we'll make it, you know, ground beef that he, I have. I'll just toss it up, make it look, you know, some vegetable and potato or something, make it delicious me. I'll show you, you know, I cooking. I have been having a few cooking shows. If you want to check it out up there or down there, I'll list it for you. Or check it out, Mira Minutes on YouTube and you will see it. I'm a new YouTuber, so I'm just slowly and maturely making it happen. So please be patient with me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. It really helps and support this channel. Go ahead and put a thumbs up, like it, and share with your friends who are having a struggle with anything that I've been doing. Um, so you, I hope that it benefits you. That is the main goal that I'm doing here. And plus, I don't have any hobby on the weekend. Hello. So that's that. And uh, on Sunday, it's like we pretty much make an uh, extra meal for next week. Uh, either my husband is help me cooking twice a week, uh, depends on how busy he is, but I'm mostly I'm the one who's cooking it. And um, But anyway, Sunday is we will bake it something. It could be banana bread, we bake it, and even for the whole, the whole week breakfast. So anything, you know, I'm not a super baker, to be honest. I'm not trying to pretend I am, um, but I'm learning how to bake better. Um, but I'm, 
I'm great at cooking, you know, just random stuff. I'm not the expensive chef here. But anyway, so those are the meal plan. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you like it. And uh, let me know what you think. Any video that you want to see, I'm trying to do once a month um, the grocery haul and I'm trying to do um, something about budgeting and another things so about kids and you know money that I, I made a video. I haven't actually finished editing yet on the weekend, so I'll show you guys uh, whenever I have a finishing editing. And then I'm gonna do the more budgeting. So again, and cooking too. I need to show you guys cooking because every single night, like I'm trying to do 20 minute cooking, it's super fast, fast, fast. You know, you just have to do everything one day. So again, thank you. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you next time. Hey there, friends. Um, this is Mira. Thanks for joining to my channel. Um, I would like to talk about today about seven different tips about uh, what you can do power shopping, either grocery shopping or either clothing shopping, either household goods shopping, anything you want. But try to keep in mind these seven tips, they will be very helpful and useful for you. And if you guys haven't joined my channel before, before I do the um, finance budgeting and I also cooking shows and I also do the separate activity. So, but um, I'm not the financial um, of, uh, advisor in my uh, normal job. But I do love the uh, budgeting and financing, uh, analyzing the uh, numbers. So I have my little notebook over here. So if I'm looking down, that means I just look at my tips. That what I wrote it down for you guys. Um, so I've been following these um, steps um, and saving money and also uh, planning well and not for our family. So we are the family of four. Uh, me, my husband, my son, and uh, my big giant puppy. So they are all budgeted for um, everything we do. And I know it sounds kind of a little bit strict, but actually it is not. It is about being mindful. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to show you all details before I show you guys today. I will show, share with the um, seven different tips too. So um, number one, I'm just going to um, show you guys. I'm thinking like, should I show you guys first or should I talk about the tips first? So um, you know what? Let me go ahead and show you guys um, really quick. And then I will explain about why I did what I did. So are you ready? All right, let's go and look at it. Uh, just keep in mind though, I went to four different grocery stores. Uh, I only do um, once a month um, because of several reasons, as you know, uh, trying to be safe for myself and the family and everybody else. So right. So um, just keep in mind, you can do every two weeks if that's what you do. Uh, I'm not suggesting you have to do four weeks. Uh, I'm not suggesting. Um, you have to do um, my budget, but you know that's what you want. Um, that's what we can do here um, because we want to save more money. So um, again, before I show you guys, my budget is um, two hundred twenty-five dollar for three people, um, which is me, my son, and my husband, and Poppy has a, his own budget. And uh, so we are not the couponer or we're not, but we do follow. We do um, check on the sales. We do use the coupon however we can. Uh, but, we, but we are very pay attention to what we buy and when we buy it, that is um, being mindful about it. Um, so um, thank you so much again. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. And it really helps out my channel. I'm new in YouTube and I do this for, um, for my you know great things that I like to share with you guys. So I hope this channel is trying to help you and your family and also help my channel too. So subscribe and put thumbs up and just dive in. So, um, so I think I got that. Um, so this is all I bought it from Four Grocery Store, and they are under the budget. So you'll be very shocked. We also meet, eat meat. We also eat meat. We're not vegetarian. We're not vegan. We're not keto. We're not doing any diet. But we just do this. Um, just being eating healthy and being not overeating. I think you know. So that's really help us a lot. So let me show you guys. Let me flip that camera, and you guys see this whole all the fancy thing. And I'll share with you seven tips. All right. So I'm going to show you the first, some of them are already open because we love it so much. So keep in mind they are all four weeks and this is for the um, three people, okay? Two adult and one toddler. So this is, um, first one is this little pie is Trader Joe's. Um, this one is for my husband, it's about, um, I think it's uh, $2.99, this is $3.69, two of them. Um, we will make it a uh, dinner and we eat it for lunch next day. This is two forty nine. Uh, if I remember it correctly, I bought it three bags, and I may finish it for four weeks. I may not depends. So this is all Trader Joe's is eighteen dollar, 
and uh, 88 cents or something. And, and after that, I go to Asian grocery store. This is Rampo Stan, which is in uh, one pound for 99 or 199 cents. So this is about seven dollars and something. This is about four dollars and something. This is light cheese. If you guys haven't tried, try this. It's awesome. I think they also have in Trader Joe's too. Uh, but I didn't buy from Trader Joe's. Got from Asian grocery store, store uh, ethnic store. And this is uh, apples. Actually, you know what? Pardon me. I got it from um, all these. So forget about this at this moment. I got this one, not everybody eat this, but I just eat them. I don't buy every month. I buy a couple of times, one or two times a year. I haven't tried this before yet, so I don't really know how it tastes like. It's like a plum, so um, preserve, so sh just snack, you know, it lasts for a few months, so. This, I got this from the, uh, what do you call, um, ethnic store. They sell it for 59 cents per pound. So I got like a lot of them, they're like 30, four oranges at the um just keep in mind this one i got a um 59 cents per pound all the is um 79 cents and per pound and costco is a dollar and 10 cents per pound so this is way cheaper and uh and then uh, i move oh and i got this from ethnic store this is like 79 cents this is i know this lot a lot it will last me for two years forever um it's like a two dollars and then I moved to Costco, which is really fast. This is, you know, obviously, uh, what, what is it? Watermelon, $5.99, $5.99, blueberry. Uh, this is $10.99, this is $1.39. This is Kiwi, is $5.99. And uh, I move forward to, uh, where do I go? Uh, one, two, three. So this is all Aldi over here. So it's four bags of, um, boxes of eggs. $1.22 per box. This is like $3.39. And then this is a chip that the lady who sat at the store, she said really good. So I tried, I bought it because we, we have a budget for um, that we can spend a month. And then I bought Cuban sandwich flavor. So I hope you can try that too. If I really like it, I'll let you guys know in my next video uh, on my comments. I'll put it there. Um, this one, Nashville. This is the one I usually eat, we really like it. Um, we got this, what do you call it? Um, green onions. It's really cheap price um, because it's three for one and this is like 50, uh, 99 cents per pound. So it's only 58 cents for this jalapeno. This is for my son, $2.99. Um, it's a stuffed pop closet milk chocolate. And I wanted to buy a regular one, but they don't have it, so I have to buy this one. And then green pepper, $1.99. This is like, a, um, I think $1.69 and $1.89, or oh, vice versa. This is like a $1 and something. It's not the organic one. And then I bought the sour cream, uh, uh, what is it called, cottage cheese. I bought three milk of this and two chocolate milk because we bake at home, so we save money. And this is um, 47 cents. And something else here is 36 cents. And this we bought it, we, we, we froze them. So I just show you guys because I cleaned them up already. I put them up and put it out to videotape this one. I got like uh, two of this and two of other those. They are like one eight, 169 cents. This is about $2.59. This is, um, I got this from Asian uh, store. This is about um, $8.75 or total. This is chocolate, I got it from Aldi. It's like $1.49. This is Oreo, we already opened it. My son tried one piece. It's like $2 something. I bought this, um, four of them, uh, no, two of, two of, two of this uh, bag, and I make it into four little bag like this, so we eat it once a week, one bag each week. And this is, um, what is it, mushroom, and cellar, cellar, uh, cilantro, and that's it. Um, so all of them, it costs um, about, just trying to one, take a one quick picture. And uh, it's about $196 with the taxes. So I will flip back to you guys so you guys, I can talk to you in more detail, all right? And so I'm back here. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that this is all for grocery shopping. And again, uh, if you guys do, you can switch this, you know, every two weeks you can go to different stores. Um, I go to, I don't, 
just want to go every grocery store, obviously not every week. I sometimes I go to only one, sometimes I go to two. This happened to be four. So it's kind of really fun for you guys to see that what I got. Um, so I did wear masks and I did wear gloves. Yes, um, so it's really safe. And I cleaned up every single pieces of it. And uh, so here we go. So, uh, and I'll put them away really quick because of there's a milk and eggs in it. Um, my, my family helped me to put this up here. So seven tips that I want to share with you guys today is that, um, number one is that um, ask your family what they want to eat. So which really uh, take out the pressure from you. And so, you know, I write, I do like twice before I go to grocery shopping. So I know what they want, either fruits, veggies, meat, whatever. Hey, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I also bought the um, sausage too. And uh, we, this is how we budget it. We budget $75 per person. So I know that people say like $100 per person in the family, that's cool. I'm nothing against with that. But we do a $75 per person, we're like making it maybe a little bit, safe, a little bit more money and maybe put it into, uh, it could go to donations uh, or that it could go to, um, uh, we can talk about donations next time. It could go to our saving and we can use that $25 um, for the next time, you know. So let's, okay, let's make it a little bit clear for you. $75 per person. So each time we shop, if it's less than $225, we save that money and then we keep it for next month. And so, and we use it for maybe buying meat or buying whatever. We only budget this $225 for three of us for the uh, anything we eat though, not paper towel. We don't use paper towel too much anymore, but I'm saying just anything you eat, like anything you drink. Um, so that's pretty much about anything you cook with it, you know. And just keep in mind though, we don't go out and buy any car side or any restaurants or anything. But this is everything we eat for the next four weeks. Um, but we do have a meat supply left, so please keep, keep in mind that we're using them. Uh, we will go to buy the meat in the next two months. Uh, we, whatever we've been saving it, so we'll use those every month that we'll be saving it to for buying meat for that month. So we're not like over being crazy about not buying anything, okay? So, number one is ask, ask your friends what they want. Oh, no, your friends, your family, what they want. And then write it down and either I put it on like Google Doc and it's so easy, I can like just look at it and, and do whatever I want. So, let me my, my cell phone. Oh, there it is. Um, so number two is the um, look pantry and freezer and, and refrigerator. Make sure that they're all organized. Try to check it once a week, and um, if it's something bad, throw it away. Not a good idea. <laughs> That's what I used to do. Um, some try to use it before they go back. That's why I've been doing it. So I hope you try that. Um, number three is uh, plant vegetable and meat for every two weeks and four weeks. So you know, like when you buy the some, you know, bell pepper, it will last like four weeks. So. You know, you don't have to use it on the first week, right? Jalapeno pepper, it will last too. So try to use like things like, I don't know, as far as it lasts really last long too. You see all the vegetables I bought, they last really long. So plan on, plan for it, you know, cabbage lasts really long too. I bought last, I bought cabbage like this, this like cabbage like four weeks ago, it still lasts, so I'm still eating half of it. So I'm not only me, there are two other folks in here too. So um, don't let any vegetable get into trash, okay? Number four is the um, write down the dollar amount of your list. So you know like, okay, celery is, uh, let's say uh, green onions is an RD is 69 cents, but ethnic store could be three for one dollar, which you got more than what you, um, you know, what you um, can spend, you know? So it's like really saving your money. Every 50 cents, 30 cents, 20 cents, like really counting you guys, you know? So, and then number five is the, uh, write down in the category. So I do like a miscellaneous, like blah, 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 blah. And I, I would do, if you guys want to see my grocery little Google sheet, I, I can show you guys. And I put in the protein, in the frozen sessions, dairy sessions, like uh, vegetable sessions, you know, fruit sessions, and spice sessions. I just categorize them so that way, and then also like indulgent sessions. So like, I have my indulgent session, like maybe, Five dollar for Mira, five dollar for my husband, five dollar for my son, and so we know like whenever we like that's why I bought this uh, plantain chip that's in my indulgent session, and and also the little preserved plum, you know. 
So like, I don't feel guilty that I did something because I was planning for it and I'm saving up for it. I know it's like we're talking about five dollars here, ten dollars here. It's not a really big deal, but when you actually combine them, they become hundreds of dollars, and then at the end of the year, become a thousand of dollar. You know, so that thousand dollar is a lot of money if you invest it in your um, in, uh, investment into um, account. You know. So anyway, we're not talking about investment here. We're talking about grocery. Very simple one, but it can be very tricky. It can go like this, right? The money can be lost and never can come back. So we just have to be pay attention to it. So number six is um, number six is like trying to look at the um, number six is that take uh take um, what did I say? Do not go hungry when you go to grocery shopping. Apparently, but did I do that before? Absolutely. So Emma, take your list with you, like which is your grocery list, like either typewriting or either typing or either just writing down or either Google app or Apple app. I don't know anything you can. Like, you know, ever know something you use? Um, I don't use it often, so I don't really know too much about that. But if that's helpful, let me know. Uh, I just do Google and Excel sheet everything I do. So um, so that way you can like check it, you know, and then just get everything done. So I didn't miss anything what I need from this shopping and I did a pretty good job. And it's like, I, I think I just said that $196, right? That is including everything, tax and everything included. And um, number seven is recap your grocery list. The reason I said that is it's really important. So planning is great, but we don't recap. Nothing is great about it because it's like cooking, you know, you're like, I want to eat this, but we, if we don't just make it happen, we don't have a nice delicious dinner, you know, we just have to like plan it and also go back and recheck. How do we do? What do I do? It's like closing the building, you know, closing the uh, the month. You know, I always do budgeting, I always close the, the book every month, every single month, no, no without fail. So it's groceries like this too. My husband say, hey, don't worry about it, <laughs> you're doing a great job. But I, I really respect and appreciate that, but at the same time, I must recap it so that way, we know, do we do good, do we not good? So sometimes you have a long list, like, okay, this is what I want, what I want to buy, but we don't have a, um, this like, dollar amount, you know, US dollar amount. We just like, hmm, do we actually do good? Because I actually see that myself, let's say, the egg is like, a, four weeks ago, it's like $1.59. Now it's like $1.22, so it saved me like 20 cents, 30 cents here and there. So if I buy four, then I'm like 80 cents, you know? estimated number I'm just making it up it that's a true number though just FYI so again depends on where your Aldi is where your state is where, where you live in it so I'm just speaking on where I what I experienced with it again on this specific day so it, it, it anything can be changed in like four weeks and five weeks right or tomorrow even so that is my grocery tip for you seven tips and just try it if that works for you I'm so glad for you if it doesn't then let me know what can I help you and just put the comments and put a thumbs up and subscribe. I do every weekend video. Uh, this week is a grocery for you and um, next week I'll do something fun for you and check, it, check me out. And this is Mira and uh, enjoy. Happy cooking and happy saving. God bless. Bye. And you have watched all these throwback grocery haul videos and I really appreciate that all your time. Truly, sincerely. And I love that because I love grocery shopping, especially as I don't want to go to shopping. Two reasons. One is I really don't want to go outside too much often. Second reason is I don't want to spend too much money. But you know what? But I do like to eat. So I think I do like to eat more than I want to spend money. So I kind of ended up buying food, right? But very conscious mind, very thoroughly think of thought about it before I purchase anything. So like this, like this is like a, a, a kind of like a treasure, don't you think? It's super amazing. I, I can't wait to make the papaya salad. When we were in Thailand, I made this, we ate papaya salad. When I was in Burma, it was my first time eating papaya salad. It's so good. Do I have all the ingredients to make it? Absolutely not. But guess what? It's all right. I choose to live in the United States and I choose to save money to pay off the mortgage. So I choose to be substituting. So again, thank you so much. And do not forget to be Create it where you care from. Do not do not afraid to create it about how you're using it, and do not forget to freeze anything you want. So with that said, please go ahead and like my channel and come back and get more tips that from this channel. And I really love you guys, and from my family to your family, we're saying thank you. 
and have a happy great day and 结束 demolition， 谢谢你。都是你 ，Doris， 我的好朋友，谢谢你，我很好，我很喜欢。